Okay guys, welcome. Um, I just wanted to shoot a quick, just shoot a quick little video and uh, just give you just give you a little drill on how to keep your spine angle. Um, you can see I've got a couple of sticks just behind me there, just uh, uh, behind my backside, kind of touching my backside, and, that, and that's uh, that's deliberate. I was, uh, you know, one of the things I struggle with in my golf swing is. Uh, just maintaining my posture, just uh, keeping my spine angle through the shot, keep, which will keep my, keep my head in the same position. So um, I just got a couple of sticks out of my bag yesterday, and uh, I kind of just kind of wrapped wrapped my legs around them more than anything. I've got uh, you can see I've got them kind of tucked tucked inside of my heels here, and. Uh, as I as I swing, I've got you know I've got my backside sort of sticking out in between them, and um, it gives me some nice feedback as to uh, as to what I'm doing with my spine angle. Obviously, if my if my hips come forward too much um, in my downswing, and that's going to bring my spine up a bit too straight, and my head my head will come up this way, right? So you know what you what you generally tend to see in a in a good golf swing, in a professional's golf golf swing, is is they keep their backside against this line, they uh, they keep their head in this box pretty much, which helps them keep their spine angle right. So you know, just getting a couple of sticks outside your backside there, so your backside's touching them, is a nice little drill, nice little exercise to give you some feedback as to. Uh, as to what you're doing with your body coming down and through the shot. So you can see as I come through my backside still touching those sticks and therefore I've kept my spine angle through the shot which in turn keeps my head in this little box here. So you know we pull up uh, pull up a pro swing, if we pull up someone like uh maybe I like someone like McDonald, and you can see that in his golf swing, his backside stays against the line, stays against the the wall, if you like. This is this is generally called the wall drill, right? You you want to try and swing feeling as though your backside's touching touching the wall. Uh, what I've done is I, I I've, I've often would you know get in the studio, put a little chair there, put a little uh, put a Pilates ball. Resting on the chair, and then obviously, when you swing in, you've got to keep your backside resting against that ball, right? So you can see Luke does a great job there, keeps his head in that little box through the shot, flips it a little bit, kind of slows down with his body sometimes. I know he's working on that hard with uh, with his coach Chuck Cook, so you know that would be one of the things that they're they're working on. You can see how that club face has just kind of flipped over here. Yeah, but then again, he might be trying to turn it over. So you know, you never know. You never know with these swing analysis. So uh, just wanted to show you that, guys. Quick little, quick little exercise. Just uh, get a couple of sticks. You can pick them up from Lowe's or Home Depot or in your golf shop. If you want to pay twenty dollars for two sticks in your golf shop, you can do so. If you want to pay two or three dollars for two sticks. You can uh, you can go and get them from from Home Depot. They're about a dollar fifty a stick, and I think they're called driveway markers rather than uh, rather than alignment sticks. All right, guys. Any questions or comments? Please uh, please leave them below, um, and I'll get back to them.